Are you ready for the haul of the century? Um, I'm being a little bit dramatic there, but if you didn't notice, it's basically summer, or at least here in Toronto it is, because it's literally been 30 degrees for so long. We need to start getting our Pinterest outfits together. With that comes online shopping, which Princess Polly actually gave me the opportunity to do a little shopping spree online to buy my dream Pinterest wardrobe. So I did a little bit of shopping online. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring me on this video. And they also gave me a 20% off discount code for you that is valid for one month after this video is uploaded. So use my code Sadie for 20% off site-wide. Everything that I'm about to show you is exclusively from Princess Polly. Princess Polly ships from the United States and they have free standard shipping which is usually about like four to eight days to Canadian orders that are over 50 US dollars which is around 70 Canadian dollars. Also the duties and taxes are payable at checkout which means you're not going to get a surprise duty fee when it comes to your door. Princess Polly has really easy returns within 30 days and they also offer afterpay to all Canadian customers and I forgot to turn my laptop on do not disturb so if I get texts it's gonna ding. Let's just get right on into my dream summer wardrobe of 2021. Why don't we start with the outfit that I'm actually wearing? The crisscrossy jeans that I like to call crisscrossy jeans which makes me seem like not intelligent in the fashion space at all but I like to call them crisscrossy jeans because they have like a crisscross waist that like overlaps which is super trendy. I've seen that all over Pinterest. I didn't know if these were actually going to look good on me because I'm so short and these are regular length jeans. All I did actually was cuff them once at the bottom. They're also distressed. It's not the type of distress that when you kneel down the threads are just gonna go like that and you're gonna have holes in your jeans I just love like having that cinched waist and then the baggy jeans on the bottom this is so weird for me to say because I feel like I've never liked things that aren't high-waisted but if these don't fit like if they're too big around your waist I kind of like pulled them down a little bit to be kind of like mid-rise to low-rise jeans I actually love the look of that like tell me why that's flattering tell me what is the last time I've actually liked mid-rise jeans there has been no time in history. So I got all of my bottoms in a size four and all of my tops in a size two. This is a really basic top that I just wore with the jeans. This is just a regular ribbed tank top. I always love when it has a high neck. I feel like that's super flattering on people who have broader shoulders, which is me join the club. Princess Polly has really good basics. Like they have really good quality basics. And I like how it's a little bit lower, like under the armpit. Don't hate me. I feel like everyone has gotten this top from Princess Polly. Can you blame them though? like look how freaking cute that is it's like this retro vibe it says mercury and retrograde it's like a ribbed material cropped shirt i had to get it i'm sorry do you remember in what year was it like 2018 i was obsessed with these three colors like the red blue and white colors like basically the american flag colors which is weird because i'm canadian this paired with these jeans with maybe like a trucker hat is such a look we're gonna move on to probably the cutest two-piece set I've ever worn in my life. Cute little tiny bandeau. I love these blue colors. Paired with the button-up sweater vest that is cropped. The same blue argyle pattern. So put together. So cute. I love when anyone, like guys, girls, anyone wears like preppy style. Like the tennis skirts that I'm going to show you and sweater vests and having like collared shirts. I just love that style. What I did is I just buttoned up the bottom, had it kind of like hang over the shoulder just for a more relaxed look. You can also just completely unbutton it or button it all up. This is very versatile. This next shirt, I feel like I kind of went out of my comfort zone with this shirt. I don't think you've ever probably seen me wear anything like this, but I was pleasantly surprised when I tried it on. So it is this cropped blouse. I wanted to get a blouse because I don't even know. Tell me why I just sweat all the time. Like tell me why I have pit stains at the end of every single day. Um, because of my weird sweat gland, I decided to buy a blouse because these are really like light and airy. These are like so good for super humid days. It has this tie on the wrist, which I love that detail that they added because it's cropped. It doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing like a work outfit, you know, because it's cropped. It makes it a little bit more youthful and trendy. And I love how I'm kind of breaching out. Breaching? I just mixed up reaching and branching. This is, there's a fluff on it, sorry. Okay, this is the top that I have been wearing all over my TikTok and my reels and my Instagram that is literally going up today. But it is just this like chocolate brown racer back tank top. Everyone has seen brown everywhere on Pinterest. So this is definitely like a trendy piece, but it's also going to be basic that I can wear after the brown trend is gone. Also, it's a regular length tank top. Like it's not cropped on me. This is really 
really good because it makes me realize that I don't have to buy everything cropped. What I think made the outfit is this hat. So I have this brown hat that says Yosemite National Park Sierra Nevada. It's also adjustable at the back because I have a freakishly tiny head. I have been on a hat grind recently. Like I'm honestly thinking of ordering more hats from Princess Polly because I it just adds so much to the outfit. And I've actually seen a lot of people have this and I was like, okay, this is my one chance to actually get it. This shirt is very similar to the white blouse that I got. It's just this brown plaid cropped. It's more like a flannel material, but it's just very thin. Yeah, I don't think I have a flannel in my closet. I don't know, I just feel really put together when I wear it. We're getting into preppy territory. So as I said before, I love dressing like Blair Waldorf. I love dressing like I go to the Hamptons and golf and play tennis every day, even though I definitely do not. And it's very evident that I don't. I got a skirt that makes me look like I do. A white pleated skirt. It fits me so well, which is so amazing. What I love about Princess Polly skirts is that they're not too short. Like there are so many tennis skirts that I look online and I'm like literally one gust of the wind and you'll be literally flashing everyone. So I love how this is almost like knee length on me. I decided to pair that with a white shirt to have a nice preppy marshmallow moment. Collared, ribbed, cropped tank top. I love the high neck thing once again. I like having the collar folded down, but I also like having it folded up. I don't know if that's okay in fashion world, but in Sadie world, it's okay. I did in fact get another pleated skirt in the black color. This one actually has wider pleats. It is definitely long enough. I would feel super comfortable wearing this. I definitely would wear like tan shorts under the white one and black shorts under this one. This one's actually a little bit of a thicker material. Definitely a nice basic to have. And I paired this one with a cropped collared shirt. So this is definitely a long sleeve. This is definitely a long sleeve. Well, yeah, it goes with the preppy theme once again, and this would definitely be for like going out at night or just colder summer days. I don't know if you know this about me, but I have been so obsessed with monochromatic sets lately. When you put it on, you know you look good. These are so soft, quilted material. They have an elastic waistband and an elastic ankle. These are baggy on me just because I am very short, but they're not too baggy, like they don't look frumpy. This forest green color, Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough of green. Um, and usually when I have like bigger pants on the bottom, I like to do a smaller top just to like balance it out. So this is a very tiny tank top. It's actually really easy to get into um, because there's a zipper on the side. So that's a little perk. It's like I feel like I'm a celebrity getting paparazzi in my matching leisure set. And I got so many questions. I wore these in a dance TikTok and everyone was like, where are your sweatpants from? These are the first swimsuits that I purchased for 2021. And yes, they did deliver. I wanted to test out some different styles. So I got a very high-waisted bikini and I wanted to try it being like thinner on the side and then thicker in the middle because then I feel like that would balance out my wide hips. I was pleasantly surprised with this. I felt so confident in this bikini. I also love wearing black. Super cute. They have pretty good coverage on the back. This would be the amount of coverage that you would get in swimsuits nowadays. The top. This one's kind of hard to show but you'll see in the try-on. You just tie it at the front. Thank you Princess Polly for having a adjustable straps on all the swimsuits that I'm about to show you because that is always a thing that makes swimsuits not fit for me when they don't have adjustable straps. Keeping with the same type of bottom, small on the side, thick on the middle, pretty good coverage on the back, very high cut, high waisted. This color is so stunning. I love this like aquamarine blue color makes me feel like a mermaid. I love very simple triangle cut tops like this. It's super flattering on me. I feel like I just love wearing simple tops. Tops. Then the last swimsuit that I got is a tie swimsuit. This is the front and this is the back. I can't actually show the back in the try on or else I think I'm gonna get demonetized, but I love how you can actually tie on the side to however wide your hips are. And then the top is kind of the reason why I got this swimsuit because it's really trendy right now to have this like cutout in the middle. They have removable cups, adjustable straps once again. It ties at the back and this like tie dye purple and pink color, I just Love. I'm so happy that all of these worked out. Like, I'm so pleased with their swimsuits. And the last thing that I got, it's just so soft. I actually wore this yesterday when I went home to my parents' house and my mom was like, where's that from? I'm buying it. This is the plushiest, hosiest material. I wish you could feel it. I'm thinking of wearing this as kind of like over top of my swimsuit, you know, after you've been to the beach, you just want to snuggle up in a cozy crew neck. This is going to be that crew neck for me. I love the blue stitching that it has. My computer going off. Mm, brother, it's gonna go off again. Yep. 
Sorry guys, I'm just too popular. Me like paying my friends to text me while I'm filming. <laughs> this actually says oversized on the website. It is a bit oversized, so I got it in extra small and small. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. And make sure to click the link down below, shop Princess Polly, and use my code Sadie for 20% off site-wide. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.